Hey guys, Tony from Bikeberry here. So I ran into a problem. Keep watching the video and you'll see how I messed up this rim. Let's roll. It's still cold outside. I haven't been able to start the engine yet, even though most of the snow is gone. It's just freezing cold outside. So it's not a good time to pedal up and down the road and get the engine started. But I've been working on a lot of the other parts, tightening up the bike and everything. But before we get into how I messed up the rim and everything, uh, we're gonna give this bike away. So please like, subscribe, comment below on our videos. The more times you do that commenting and interaction with the videos, the more times we're keeping track of who is, you know, being diligent about watching the content and everything. So uh, we're giving this away. It's pretty awesome. We're gonna do a lot to it. It's gonna be cool. We're gonna modify it. It's gonna be cool, right? There's a link down below, get on the master list, okay? All right, enough about that. So how I messed up this rim. Okay, so you know how you're tightening up these cone nuts on here, like I am, right? So you're Spin around, you got a wrench on the bottom, you're holding it, you're trying to tighten it up. Well, I didn't do that so well on the first time I put it on the bike and then I rode it up and down the road and I trashed part of it. So I took the rim off the bike and I'm like, what in the world is that? Lo and behold, it's the bearings. <laughs> oh my goodness. So why am I sharing this with you? Because we all make mistakes and we put things in the wrong way. When I'm doing videos and stuff like that, what I did was I put this in backwards and I didn't get it tight enough, right? To, to seat in there and stay. It was loose enough that it worked out and caused it to misshapen and just basically pop out, okay? But we're gonna fix it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this apart. I already busted it loose. You know how that's kind of a hard thing to do but uh, I got it loose. All right, check that out. Woo wee! Good thing it's not too much of a big deal. We just gotta pull it out. See how it trashed it? That's what happens when you put it in upside down and have it too loose. <laughs> All right, then we gotta dig out the little ball bearings in here. Probably get a magnet and it'd be just fine, right? There's one, there's two, three, come on now, four. Looks like we lost one on the road. Five, six. Okay, get rid of these old bearings. Woo, good thing we still got all those. So it had some kind of a thing to ride on, right? So I had another set from another wheel. So let's put this in the right way. See what I did is I put it in that way up, put the balls face up on the ball bearings. Instead, I need this guy up. See, just like that. Now we'll be back in business. So we're gonna put on the, these lock nuts on the top. Maybe they're called jam nuts, because they jam it in place. <laughs> So when you tighten up your whole hub assembly here, you're gonna run into problems with those cone nuts not being seated properly against the bearings. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I know other channels like LA Hubber has talked about this and an easier way to do it. I'm gonna show that to you now. So you'll see that I have a locking vice grip. Mine's kind of a unique one. It has the notches there for a nut. I have that locked on there just so I can hold it with my legs to keep the axle from spinning, okay? So now I have, by holding that, I have the whole assembly, okay? This is loose, this guy here, and now the cone nut is seated against, here, let's loosen it. So now everything's loose, right? The axle's loose and everything. We're just gonna take and tighten it down, just finger tight, all right? Till, till it stops, all right? and then kind of rotate your gear and you'll feel it like, you'll feel the ball bearings like it's too tight. So I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit, just a very tiny bit till it's smooth. Now it's smooth, okay? Now I don't feel like everything's loose, it's perfect, okay? 
But now we gotta go down and tighten what I guess I call the jam nut against here. Okay, now we gotta tighten these two together. So one thing I've done is I have this little crescent wrench and you can see that I've ground it thin to be able to fit underneath here, okay? You can do the same, just go buy a, one at Harbor Freight or something like that, okay? I'm gonna tighten these two against each other. Now I'm holding the vice grips with my knees so it's not moving and I'm tightening these against each other, okay? Then I'm gonna check for, okay, now it's a little, see it kind of like rubbing, clicking? We don't want that, right? So, but I still need to get these tight against each other and then we'll work, then we'll work on adjusting them, okay? All right. So now, see way too tight. All right. Get them tight on there. There we go. Bolt at once is the way to go. I just moved much nicer, okay? Yep, okay. I feel that now. It's smooth feeling. There's really no slop in the whole mechanism. Works as should, okay? So now we have an appropriately tight axle that works perfectly. Like that spins, locks, stops, perfect. You can see how quick I adjusted that, you know, even after I messed it up, right? <laughs> put the bearing in there upside down, okay? But I got a new one, I put it in there the correct way, and then I showed you how to tighten it up pretty quickly. Like, that's pretty good, I feel good about that. So I hope that helped you. Remember, we're giving away the Switz Cruise. There's a link down below, fill in the master sheet to get on the list, so that way we can uh, make our drawing when we're all done with it. We're gonna modify it, I'm gonna keep saying that a lot. Please like, subscribe, comment below. It's gonna be great. We have a coupon code that you'll see below, so go down below, check it out. I'm not gonna say it here. You're gonna love it, it's gonna be good. That'll help you save some money on the site when you order some parts. Uh, but then it also, <laughs> then it also automatically enters you in our drawing and puts you on that master list. So uh, yeah, so let's keep going with this. I appreciate you all, thank you so much. Let's roll.